So guys, as you all know, the Red Worm is pretty much the ultimate threat in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and it also drops some of the best schematics in the game, which is the Legendary Tool schematic, the PAP 3 Crystal, and the Scorcher schematic. And these things are just insane in this game. They do have pretty, well, ridiculous cooldowns, but it's still great to have them. So today, I want to show you how easy it is to actually kill the Red Worm solo nowadays, because there has been some schematics in the game that, uh, you know, make life a lot easier when it comes to red worm and those things are gonna be i mean if you look at my backpack it's full of goodies but those things are gonna be the gold plates and last addition in the game the mag of holding because you don't have to reload anymore so you know you can just hold down the fire button and do as much damage as you can to that red worm but you have to get a legendary tool alongside with you to have the maximum damage possible because that thing definitely has a lot of health and also pack a punch three it's absolutely necessary and as you guys can see i do have a scorcher case with me because i want to fly around the map faster to get those uh, usb sticks and lastly go with a decoy the decoys are going to be extremely useful in there because you know you can just throw them away and replenish them with the ammo caches and you know they can keep the the zombies away for a few seconds enough for you to do some damage and run away or just kill them the weapon of choice for me it's going to be the bass b today because with mags of holding this thing, well, I don't have to reload, so I can just sustain fire. And it actually does some pretty great damage. And I do have the flamethrower on it, because there's going to be some mimics, some manglers. I definitely have to use that as well. Anyways, I'm going to go grab the USB sticks. I usually go to this spot right here in the Orlov military base. Up there, there's going to be like a room with some photos on the wall. And they show you the actual locations of the USBs. So I'm going to do that and... Uh, yeah i guess i will see you guys uh the worm boss fight definitely don't forget to get all your perks and max out your ammo to pack a punch three and without any further ado let's get this all right so we made it to the place where we have to fight the red worm and in order to find out that location uh i'm gonna explain to you just one second let me put on the the refractors and after you put those things in you have to wait I think for like a minute and a half, something like that, until the, the red worm comes out. You do have to be careful because there's going to be some zombies spawning out of the ground. They're actually not that tough, even though it's uh, in the storm. But yeah, to find out the actual location of the boss fight, you have to look where the zone is. So that is the center of the zone. And somewhere around it, there's going to be like two ammo caches next to each other. Oh, you can see on the map right here. There's only a few locations where this uh, red worm can spawn. And that could be up here right here in the farms or at the stadium in the big town so four locations where this uh, where the red worm can spawn and you just have to look for the two ammo caches that are going to be next to each other all right the red worm should come out right about now all the zombies are going to go in the middle he's going to kill all of them which you know actually helps me out a bit and one tip that i forgot to tell you is that you have to take a big gas mask and never, never forget to refill it. And there is the big guy. There is the big dude. Always be careful to the orbs that he shoots. They can be pretty annoying. Be stuck in there. This is why I, why I took the flamethrower. Because these mimics can be pretty darn annoying. So the flamethrower is just going to make... Just going to make things a bit easier, I guess. Always be careful to the lasers as well. The lasers can actually one-shot you if you're not full HP on the armor, I mean. And this is where the basically the gold armor comes in handy. Because you don't have to, you know, pay attention all the time to your armor and to, you know, play it up every few seconds. Because you're gonna run out of armor instantly. Most of the time when you, when you fight this dude. There we go. Take up some of these orbs. There are some sayings that these orbs actually might help the red worm get some health back. I don't know how true they are. But as you guys see, I'm trying to aim most of the time for that uh, for that weak spot. The glowing armor thing on him. Now he's probably gonna take me on a road trip in the sky. <laughs> but if you have full armor, he's not gonna be able to, to swallow you. And then just spam space whenever he throws you like that and even when he grabs you and he spits you out you just have to spam space or spam the jump button if you're on controller and you're gonna open the parachute and survive 
There we go. I barely had any armor, so he swallowed me. Now he's gonna throw me away. And I'm spamming the jump button. And now we can get back to work. Watch out when he's throwing out the, the zombies. Because he can actually shoot them onto you. And they can actually kill you. Happened to me a few times. There we go. One of the armors are broken. Which is great. We're doing some decent damage. And Mags of Holding is just doing good work here. Because the Bass B doesn't really have the, the fastest reload speed or the biggest magazine. And I went down because, well, that was a pretty stupid mistake by me. Always pay attention to the zombies around you. Like, these guys are going to be your biggest threat. They're going to make the, the fight a lot harder. Alright, I'm going to go refill gas mask before I do anything else. I'm going to throw a decoy there. Shoot a bit in the back. I usually like to take around three self revives with me. You can do this without going down at all, but you know. Better have some extra equipment with you, just in case. You never know when you go down or you get hit by something you're not paying attention to or something like that, so. Let me try to kill some of this. Also, I do have the flamethrower, and I've been getting a lot of questions about whether it hits the the red worm or not and all i can say is that it does very minimal damage so don't rely on the flame chore to take out the red worm super fast because it's not gonna do it trying to take out some of these zombies right now just to get rid of some of the, the stuff around i think there was a nuke down there but couldn't really get it we got six minutes 45 on the clock i think we we have enough time to take him out I'm definitely gonna take this though. Ah, it's very good. There's a lot of weapons that are really good on this. I really like the Bass B, it's just one of my favorite guns when going for the Red Worm. Hits pretty hard, good against the zombies around, and with the max of holding, it's just extremely good. There we go, now we're doing some decent damage. You see how hard these zombies can hit you? They can melt you in just a few seconds. There we go. Let's go replenish some ammo. Nice. Whenever he goes down, try to take out some of the zombies around. Disciple Mimics. If you're in a team, uh, I think in a team of six, there's gonna be Mega Abomination spawning in. So... That's going to make things a bit tougher. But at the moment, we're just chilling. We're just running around, trying to shoot that weak spot as much as possible. Tech sense might be a bit better, actually. Always be very careful with that laser. These orbs are extremely annoying. Look at that. The orb took off the, the armor, and then he lasered. And when he hits you with a laser, you're down in one hit. If you have no armor. But this is why you take the extra cell revives. Actually trying to explain all of this while actually killing the red worm. Makes things a bit harder. There we go. Our lasers. Where is that orb? Let me take them out. There we go. Ooh. I'm wanting to go down now, so I can uh, actually take out some of these zombies. Make sure that decoy. I do have the Juggernaut, but Juggernaut doesn't really do much, so... I'm not really relying on that either. Okay, he goes down now. I'm gonna just kill some of these guys. Ow, there's so many of them. And this just does so much damage. Alright, I'm gonna show you the flame thrower now. Look at that. Like, it does a bit of damage, but it's nothing, like, different than a normal weapon. I need to replenish my gas mask. Throw some decoys. Lasers. There we go, another armor broken. He's got, like, 25% health. 
I like to slide whenever he does that attack, so. Get a bit of a sp speed boost. I hate when he does that attack. It's just so powerful. Shoot down the orbs. Now he goes underground. I'm gonna take out the mangler. I'm using brain rot most of the time whenever I'm going for the red worm. In case you're wondering what ammo more should you use. But I don't think it really makes a difference, to be honest. There we go. Alright, 2 minutes and 50 seconds. Got the orbs down. I want to hit those critical spots, so I'm turning around. The build that I have on this is actually pretty good for hipfire as well. There we go, we're doing some big, big damage right now. Careful for that laser. There we go, another armor broken. Is almost close to death. He literally just has a sliver of health. No. I want to take some decoys. You barely do any damage when, whenever you're not hitting the critical spots. There we go. Throw some decoys there so I can actually shoot him. It should be 1 HP. Okay, he lagged out a bit. He does that sometimes. Oh, okay. That happened. That's why I said I hate this stack. Super powerful. I have to crit hit the critical spots. And he should be dead in just a second. There it is. It's all about hitting those critical spots. So you have to go in like a circle motion thing. And you're gonna get him without any issues. And after you kill him, well, everything is gonna die around. So don't worry about the zombies anymore. And when it comes to rewards, well, you get pretty much useless stuff like this sometimes. You can get wonder weapon cases... Or some better crystals or tools. But most of the time you're gonna get, like, nothing great. And there you have it, Legendary Ether 2 plans. I'm not gonna take because I already have it. And there's gonna open a portal right here to get out. I actually died three times. That's actually quite a bit. Anyways, that's uh, the way you take out the Red Worm. If you guys enjoyed this and found this useful, make sure you smash the like button, subscribe for more. And look at how my containment level just reset itself. Because why not? Anyways, thank you guys, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.